Hello, and welcome to Family Tree Sagas. We are excited to share the true tales from our own diverse family tree and to remind you that every family tree has its own incredible sagas. These narratives, richly painted with meticulous genealogical research and AI-enhanced creativity, celebrate the legacies that forge our identities. Explore the enchanting Sicilian sagas. Uncover the depths of northern Mexico with the Allende Chronicles and venture into the heart of dispatches from the disputed Texas territories. Each story is a piece of a much larger puzzle, just like the stories in your own tree. So, let's set sail on this journey of discovery together, celebrating the sagas that connect us all. The Allende Chronicles In Search of De La Garza Chapter 1 The Beginning The Societies of Central Mexico Once upon a time, in the land that is now known as Mexico. We begin where all mestizo tales originate, the ancient civilizations of Mexico. Their legacy is a foundation of our narrative. Our journey through Mexico's rich history starts in the tropical lowlands along the Gulf of Mexico, where the Olmec civilization emerged. Known for their colossal stone heads, the Olmecs laid the foundational cultural and artistic groundwork for subsequent civilizations. As we move forward in time, we encounter the Maya, celebrated for their advancements in mathematics and astronomy. The Maya's intellectual legacy set the stage for the later civilizations of the Toltecs and Aztecs, each building upon the achievements of their predecessors. In the verdant embrace of tropical lowlands along the Gulf of Mexico, the Olmec carved colossal visages of their rulers leaving sentinel stone heads as silent testaments to a civilization of artistic brilliance and monumental grandeur. Their enigmatic script and mysterious monuments, now reclaimed by nature, hidden coatings and omens that would guide far-off successors. To the south, the Maya civilization illuminated the dense rainforests, their achievements in mathematics, astronomy, and the written word echoing through time. In the rugged highlands, the Toltec, with their mythic figures and enigmatic ruins, and the Aztec, warriors of the sun, built empires destined to meet the Spanish conquistadors. Meanwhile, the Chichimeca roamed the northern deserts, leaving spiraling petroglyphs for descendants to decipher, and the Nahua people built stone cities across central plateaus. In delving into these ancient voices, Olmec, Maya, Toltec, and others, our story uncovers the traces of a family, their original name lost in the annals of history. Their lineage, deeply rooted in these civilizations, awaits a new identity in the chapters to come. The Olmec's monumental creativity, the Maya's profound understanding of the cosmos, and the Toltec's spiritual and artistic depth may have sown the seeds of traits that resonate in this family's lineage. While the specific origins remain shrouded in history, the influence of these civilizations on the family's characteristics, their resilience, intellect, and perhaps a flair for the dramatic, can be discerned. Our narrative, tracing back through time, leads us to where this family's history becomes known, not by their ancestral name now lost, but by a new name bestowed in an era of conquest and cultural fusion. After witnessing the monumental legacy of the Olmecs and the intellectual prowess of the Maya, our historical journey brings us to the Toltecs. Known for their advanced metallurgy and artistry, the Toltecs symbolized a bridge between the old and the new worlds. Their influence on the cultural and spiritual life of Mexico was profound, with their legacy echoing in the myths and architecture that came after. The Toltecs, with their blend of warrior ethos and philosophical inclinations, might have instilled in our family line a balance of strength and wisdom qualities that would be essential in the tumultuous eras to come. As we follow the threads of history, we encounter the Chichimeca, a people often overlooked but crucial in the tapestry of Mexican heritage. Their nomadic lifestyle and deep connection with the land speak of a resilience and independence that could have trickled down through generations. These traits, potentially present in our family line, would have been vital in adapting to the ever-changing landscapes of history. From the intellectual brilliance of the Maya and the spiritual depth of the Toltecs, our journey brings us to the remarkable Aztec civilization. The Aztecs, known for their impressive capital of Tenochtitlan, itself long abandoned by yet another lost society, 
exemplified a blend of architectural ingenuity, vibrant culture, and complex societal structures. Their prowess in engineering and art, alongside their deep spiritual and ritualistic practices, marked a pinnacle in the historical tapestry of Mexico. In the Aztecs' profound influence, we begin to see reflections of their legacy in the traits and traditions of our family line. The architectural marvels and elaborate urban planning of the Aztecs may have inspired a sense of grandeur and a knack for organization in the family's ancestors. Moreover, the Aztecs' strong community bonds and leadership qualities could be mirrored in the family's ability to unite and lead, traits that would become essential in the turbulent times ahead. As we move closer to the era where the family's records emerge in present-day Coahuila, the influence of these great civilizations on their lineage becomes more apparent. Each society, with its unique strengths and struggles, may have contributed to the characteristics and values that define this family. This family's story, interwoven with Mexico's history, stands as a testament to resilience and cultural synthesis. The legacy of their lost indigenous name will soon be revealed through the confluence of histories. As we journey through the highlands and lowlands of Mesoamerica, the narrative of this family begins to intertwine with the larger story of the land's ancient inhabitants. Each step through these ancient civilizations not only uncovers the marvels of human achievement but also brings us closer to understanding the roots and enduring qualities of a family shaped by these rich cultural legacies. As the Maya era gives way, we encounter the Toltecs, a civilization renowned for their military prowess and cultural innovations. The Toltecs, emerging in the post-classic period of Mesoamerican chronology, were instrumental in spreading art and architecture across central Mexico. Their capital, Tula, with its grand pyramids and intricate carvings, stood as a beacon of urban sophistication. The Toltecs, known for integrating the warrior and the artist, may have imbued our family line with a blend of resilience and a deep appreciation for beauty and craftsmanship. These traits, distilled through time, might manifest as a robust spirit and a keen eye for detail in the family's later generations. With the decline of the Toltecs, the stage was set for the rise of the Aztecs, the last great Mesoamerican civilization before the Spanish conquest. The Aztecs, or Mexica, built an empire that was both feared and admired. Their capital, Tenochtitlan, was a marvel of engineering, a testament to their ability to transform a swampy lake into a bustling metropolis. The Aztecs were also known for their complex religious rituals and social structures. The blend of strength and strategic acumen that characterized the Aztecs might be seen as a precursor to qualities found in our family, the ability to adapt, innovate, and thrive, even in the most challenging circumstances. As we near the end of the pre-Hispanic era, the narrative of our family begins to intertwine more closely with the broader currents of Mexican history. The Spanish conquest, a cataclysmic event, brought about the fusion of indigenous and European cultures, creating the mestizo identity. This period of upheaval played a crucial role in shaping the family's lineage. The resilience to withstand cultural and societal upheaval, the adaptability to embrace change, and the capacity to forge a new identity from diverse roots, these are the qualities that may have been honed in the crucible of this transformative era. In tracing this family's lineage, we uncover not just their personal history but the broader narrative of Mexico's mestizo heritage. Their story, while unique, is a testament to the shared experiences of many families throughout Mexico's history. The pride, challenges, and achievements of this family echo the journey of countless others who have navigated the complex landscape of Mexican identity. As this chronicle of predestined love now unfurls, behold how the currents of history can trace back, however improbably, to one fateful meeting of souls in a Coahuilan village which, at the time, had not even been named. Had that initial, fate-kissed pairing of hopefuls never united in their shared destiny, no lineage would have spun forth through time's wheel, nor would this very voice exist to recount the long-past tale. And so, I find myself, their distant confluence, standing at these fabled grounds, an improbable inheritor of this legacy. 
This gift of life is due to that distant decision made ages ago. Thus, if my narrative grows effusive in recounting a faded entanglement along Mexico's rugged edge, please forgive the excess born of astonishment. How often is one granted the opportunity to recount the chronicle that led to their own existence? I seek only to honor the gravity, a force more profound to me than the reader may realize. Therefore, judge my lofty prose leniently, as it pales in comparison to the unbelievable twist of time that links our breaths to those long past. Echoes may ring mythic for a simple family story, yet to me, epic suits the improbable inception of this tale. But, for now, transitioning from the rich tapestry of Mexico's ancient civilizations, our narrative turns its gaze across the Atlantic to a Spain poised on the brink of monumental change. This shift in focus is crucial, for it is in the Spain of the late 15th and early 16th centuries that the seeds of the next chapter in our family's story, and indeed in the story of Mexico itself, were sown. In Spain, the decades leading up to Cortés' exploration were a time of profound transformation. The Reconquista, culminating in the fall of Granada in 1492, marked the end of centuries-long Muslim rule in the Iberian Peninsula. This victory, which unified Spain under Catholic monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella, set the stage for an era of unprecedented exploration and conquest. The same year witnessed Christopher Columbus's first voyage to the Americas, opening a new world of possibilities and paving the way for further expeditions. As we explore this period, we encounter a Spain fervent in religious and political zeal, eager to expand its horizons and assert its newfound power. The Spanish Inquisition, established to enforce Catholic orthodoxy, created an atmosphere of fervor and fear, driving the nation's ambition outward. It was in this crucible of exploration, ambition, and zeal, that Hernán Cortés, a figure destined to leave an indelible mark on the history of Mexico, emerged. The story of Cortés and his expedition, which would lead to the fall of the Aztec Empire, is not just a tale of conquest but also a narrative of complex political maneuvering, alliances, and betrayals. The repercussions of these events were felt not just in the grand halls of Spanish power, but also in the everyday lives of countless individuals, including the ancestors of our family. As we prepare to delve into this pivotal moment in history, we carry with us the understanding that the fates of Spain and Mexico were inextricably linked. The choices made in Spanish courts and on distant battlefields would resonate across oceans, shaping the destiny of a new world and the lineage of our family. Our narrative thus stands at the threshold of a new era, ready to explore the intertwining destinies of two worlds. The journey from the ancient civilizations of Mexico to the courtly intrigues of Spain is not just a shift in geography but a leap across worlds, a crossing of destinies that would forge a new chapter in the history of a nation and a family. Thank you so much for listening to this Family Tree Saga. We know your time is precious. Look for more at FamilyTreeSagas.com.